to all on this special day. If you look around, what an absolutely beautiful setting. You couldn't dial up the weather any better. You couldn't dial up the light any better. It's perfect. Jacob, as I said, you look handsome. Elena, oh, Jacob, you're a lucky man. <laughs> I'm Andrew. I'm Jacob's oldest brother, um, which means that I've been around, you know, his whole life. It's been an awesome journey because I've, I've watched him grow from my loud and, and uh, explosive little brother to somebody who is just one of, frankly, the strongest and, and most charismatic men that I know. And as a man, that's meant that Jacob has just this incredible drive to be successful in, in whatever it is that he does and whatever he sets his mind to. Jacob's always a very particular young man. He told me as he began the dating process that he had a checklist of all the things he wanted before he figured out if he was gonna date someone or not. I'm not gonna go through the whole checklist because it was very extensive. <laughs> Maybe a month after Jacob met Elena, I didn't hear another word about the checklist. The checklist went out the door. And what does that mean? It means he fell in love. Like, <laughs> He fell in love. Um, and now, you know, most importantly, over the past year, I've, I've seen Jacob turn that same intensity um, toward developing a relationship with Lainey. And Lainey, we're so grateful to have you part of, as part of our family. You're a perfect match for Jacob. And you're a wonderful woman and a beautiful bride. And we're, we're just so grateful that you and Jacob found each other. love and commitment to each other. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jacob, you may kiss this beautiful bride. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, let's hear it for Jacob and Elena. not just a simple and easy happily ever after. There are going to be ups and there are going to be downs. There are going to be times where you're so furious with each other that 
that you say things that you do not mean, but going through those, in all those moments where it feels incredibly difficult, just choose to keep fighting for your marriage and for each other. And doing that over and over again is how you build a real happily ever after. Each of us, every one of us, are the products of the lives that touch our own. As husband and wife, you'll know each other better than anyone else in the world knows you. Don't forget to support each other as you grow on your journeys in the future. And free.